Hello, what's going on guys? It's me Steve and I hope you guys will enjoy this one today. I'm gonna start with the Action Comics issue number 994 and this is a review from taken from VitaseDCComics.com So our issue begins with Booster Gold and Superman fighting for their lives against soldiers of Krypton and after they eventually escape things don't get much easier for them because General Zod sends out a squad of eradicators to go after them. While all this battling and escaping is going on, Booster Gold does his best to try to explain to Superman and us what the hell is going on and apparently what we get is with time being manipulated the way it was when Krypton was destroyed. You know, when Jor-El was taken. It seems that time is trying to fill that void with whatever it can and we get this strange new world that doesn't make any sense and with Booster and Superman being in it, it's creating a solidifying effect on the timeline that will allow this new time stream to take over and just cause a bunch of nonsense for the rest of time itself. So the plan is leaving and hoping that all of this can just be simply erased and that's what our heroes do. While Booster and Superman are talking time travel, Lois Lane is getting information about her father now that he is being held hostage by the people of Logamba which only leads to her deciding that she's going to take matters into her own hands which you would expect from what we got the last issue and in the end Booster forces Superman into the time sphere so that they can make like a tree and get the hell out of there only to crash land in the 25th century where it looks like one of the eradicators has followed them. That's it for this issue of Action Comics and it really sucks that we don't go anywhere with the idea of Superman getting to the bottom of who's manipulating time and even with us kind of dealing with it here, all we get is nonsensical time travel jargon and Superman coming off like a dick because he's willing to screw up time to get his answers even though he never cut from the new timeline he was at. Overall, the art was good in this issue but the story was lacking and that's really disappointing for the initial idea of what this arc was. Hopefully things pick up but with us going back and forth with Louise saving her dad and now it looking like this will simply become about surviving an eradicator story. I don't expect much but from this issue what we can get is not so much of storytelling and the art looks clean and clear but I don't really like this kind of style of arts because this art looks a totally vintage kind of style. Colors could have been better and the uh, graphics like the mm, illustrations inking could have been better but anyway overall it's a good experience to see the colors see the bluish and the blackish tone have been used like a vintage style. But the storyline is not much because if you roam around in a storyline where nothing is happening only just talks and talks and talks and movement and action, there is no point of seeing that kind of comic because in lots of movies that kind of things happen but in comic book there needs to the, the story needs to go further beyond that but otherwise it won't be a likable kind of thing and in the end we get to see there is a time travel other big time travel in this one and where Superman goes to 25th century and there he is in earth right now and so long things happen in a flash of moment Superman remembers all of the things and that's it for that thing so yeah if you give if you tell me if you ask me that what kind of review i'm gonna give it to or what is the rating for this comic book i'm gonna give it a 5.5 out of 10 because totally it's average totally it's average because there are stories i have read that is really good and anticipatable like you, know, you have to anticipate for you will anticipate for the next issue but in this one nothing that is happening like that one you maybe say stop reading this action comic series i can stop because i don't get too hyped up from this storyline so that's it for this issue hope you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more daily videos have a great day and goodbye for now